What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. So today I would like to be reacting to a brand new game that's supposed to be a Grand Theft Auto competitor, most likely going to be competing with Grand Theft Auto 6. And it's being made by um, a video game company called Build a Rocket Boy, I think it's what it's called. Um, and it's actually um, the uh, CEO of this company, Build a Rocket Boy, is actually Leslie Benzies, the, the, the person who uh, made most of the classic Grand Theft Autos, I think Grand Theft Auto V. I think partially worked a bit on Red Dead Redemption 2, but I know he was um, removed from Rockstar. Rockstar fired him in 2016, which was not very nice of them to do. Um, this guy was awesome. He made, he's probably, he's what made Rockstar Games a really good company. And so, um, we are going to be reacting to Everywhere, Mind's Eye. So Everywhere is basically a game that is um, uh, kind of like PlayStation Home. My friend, the professional, also known as uh, Patrick, uh, he, he did say that this game is kind of like somewhat like maybe like possibly PlayStation Home. That's what he can think of. But uh, um, it's going to be really cool, guys. Um, so this game is supposed to be be like um, a very interactive game and you get to like uh, um, interact with all these different games built into one, somewhat like that. I, I did play PlayStation Home when I was a kid a little bit. I didn't play a lot of it though, but I, I know that a lot of people like that, including my friend, the professional. He did say that uh, he misses PlayStation Home. PlayStation Home was part of the PS3 era. The PS4 and PS5 era never had it. Well, we don't know uh, if they're gonna ever gonna bring back PlayStation Home. Actually, who knows what they what they could do? But I'm sure everywhere is probably gonna be almost like a replacement for PlayStation Home. But uh, Mind's Eye, guys, Mind's Eye. This this is a game. This is the game that everyone wants to play in in uh, the everywhere. There's some games in everywhere that kind of look a little bit like Fortnite a little bit. I probably won't really touch those games, probably not, because I'm not really into those type of games, Fortnite. But um, I, I'm, I'm, my, my eyes is on mind's eye. My mind is on mind's eye, actually, guys. So anyways, let's get reacting to this. Um, I know it's gonna be kind of a futuristic game, somewhat like Cyberpunk. So it's gonna be kind of like a GTA styled, um, Cyberpunk styled game, but let's check this out, guys. Thing has ruined my life. You want to know what the mind's eye really is? It's activating. You know what I have to do? Whoa. Okay, we see drones. Um, yeah, mind's eye. Build a rocket boy. But anyways, guys, I gotta say, this game is giving me vibes of other games, actually. It's, it's kind of reminding me of different games. Um, it's making me think of Detroit become human a little bit and also the actor who is in this is Alex Hernandez I think um who played uh Mafia 3 Mafia 3 is the main character Lincoln Clay um that's a game I platinum to love that game so much and stuff uh really fun mafia game I know it's not it's not as good as uh Mafia 2 but Mafia 2 um had a really good story but Mafia 3 awesome open world game it somewhat felt like some of the Ubisoft, generic Ubisoft game, but it's all right. I'm used to those types of games anyways. But uh, this game is giving me cyberpunk vibes. It's also giving me somewhat Watch Dogs vibes too, because, you know, it's probably going to have hacking, you know, it's that near future society type game. And if anybody's trying to look for a game that's kind of like this, your closest best bet are the Watch Dogs games. I actually cover the Watch Dogs games on this channel too, sometimes here and there. I actually post a lot of zombie apocalypse games on this channel, like for example, Dying Light and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, um, if you guys are interested in, type, in those types of games, consider subscribing to this channel and stuff. But this Grand Theft Auto competitor is gonna be really interesting, guys. I honestly cannot wait to play this. Um, it's it's probably going to come out close to Grand Theft Auto 6, maybe after Grand Theft Auto 6. Maybe this game could release before Grand Theft Auto 6. Um, we don't know what's going to happen and stuff, but hopefully we get some sort of Grand Theft Auto 6 
um, announcement this year. It's probably going to happen. It's the 10th anniversary to Grand Theft Auto V. I was 15 when that game came out. Here I am, 25 years old now. Going to be uh, 26 at the end of this year. So um, we should totally be seeing a Grand Theft Auto game. Seriously, we need to see a new Grand Theft Auto trailer. Uh, and um, I really want to see more gameplay of this Everywhere game. Like, everywhere but Mind's Eye and stuff. I'm just looking so much forward to Mind's Eye. But um, let's get uh, breaking down some of this uh, and we'll be right back. It looks like our main character here has a lot of this technology embedded into his skin. This is very much reminding me so much of Detroit Become Human, like very much. I don't know what to think of this, but um, it looks like when he moves his hand, the other robot does the exact same thing as him. So does this exactly mean that this is like a companion robot for us? We can definitely tell this is going to be a very personal and very serious story for our main character and a lot of trauma is most likely going on. This right here kind of reminds me of Black Ops 3's Direct Neural Interface, also known as a DNI. Also, the androids from Detroit Become Human's eyes kind of look a lot like this as well. A really cool close-up of Alex Hernandez's character and almost reminds me of actually Mafia 3's Lincoln Clay. It kind of actually just gives me vibes of Mafia 3, especially the face that he's making because I've seen Lincoln Clay make a face like this before. It looks like our futuristic Lincoln Clay is getting blown back by some explosion and uh, this explosion actually looks very realistic. You can definitely tell a lot of effort has been put into this game and uh, yeah, good job Leslie Benzies. Um, this might actually be a really good competitor with Grand Theft Auto 6. Take a look at this futuristic vehicle. You can definitely tell that this is probably owned by some sort of crazy SWAT team or some mercenary unit or whatever, some crazy faction that's in this uh, game. Um, you can definitely tell that this is, um, I don't know if this is a helicopter or is it some sort of like, I don't know, aircraft. But if, if this is like a car, that's a very futuristic looking car and stuff. DSC, I don't know what that stands for, but uh, it's probably one of the uh, villainous um, corporations in this uh, game we got ourselves a drive-by and as you can see and stuff there's actually a lot of detail going into this it looks like i can see dirt kicking up off of the ground from the car i can see the uh the spark flying off of the other car from the uh, shot um lots of detail guys definitely now this right here makes it actually look like you're actually going to be playing grand theft auto 6 because you see all these palm trees everywhere you could be thinking of like places like California or even Florida. It almost looks exactly like it could be almost like Vice City. Um, it makes you think of um, also uh, Cyberpunk 2077 a little bit. But yeah, this right here screams Grand Theft Auto competitor for sure. Um, that drift though is just magnificent. I love the uh, also the detail of the reflections on the car. It's just, man, beautiful, man. Chef's kiss. Now, I don't know what to really think of this shot, but uh, this shot right here, by the looks of it, is some sort of character that's probably very important to the story of this game. And uh, you can definitely tell that this, uh, this gun right here is a very uh, futuristic type of gun. All right, this is actually kind of scary. As you can definitely tell, there's going to be an army of robots in this game. So you can definitely tell that this game is very much set in the near future. It's almost, in a way, kind of reminds me of Black Ops' 3... Um, type of robots um, yeah this is very scary stuff um, uh, you can definitely say grand theft robot or grand theft mind control this is pretty much what this game is going to be about and stuff uh, lots of mind control stuff lots of uh, black opsy type stuff um, so yeah it's going to be like a grand theft auto game with full-on uh, corporate espionage and hacking and like all sorts of like you know crazy crazy stuff so um I'm a huge fan of Watch Dogs and all that kind of stuff, and so this is probably going to be the closest to possibly a uh, Watch Dogs sequel I'm ever going to get, because who knows if we'll ever get a Watch Dogs 4. Okay, I am detecting a very gritty story within this game. You can definitely tell that this game is using some sort of dark and gritty filter, so I'm guessing it's going to be very, very dark. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be kind of like Black Mirror a little bit too, because of all these robots and, you know, uh, very horrifying stuff. Um, that's the one thing that could be very scary for our future. Like, what if robots become very dangerous? You can definitely tell that she detected something very horrifying. 
I do not know what to think of this. I have no words, but uh, interesting, I could say, and uh, very mysterious. This is what one of the drones look like in the game. We also got a very beautiful sunset in the background, and you can definitely tell that this game is gonna be pretty massive it has a massive desert by the looks of it but yeah i guess we're gonna have to prepare ourselves and fend off some drone swarms just like in watchdogs legion all right this is very very interesting it looks like we got ourselves a super weapon it also says silva to the side and um we got some sort of logo up there as well but uh i wonder if um silva is some sort of like car dealership because i've noticed that it did say silva on one of the cars actually the car that blue car earlier on it said silva but um if this is some super weapon that's crazy guys i don't understand what this is um it's giving me just cause vibes a little bit too it's giving me some tom clancy uh ghost recon breakpoint vibes um i'm getting like really mixed thoughts right now tons of different games are constantly coming to mind right now um it i don't know what to say but there's just there's just so much stuff that keep going on in my mind this is uh very crazy um i'm thinking of raids actually it's making me think of raids actually it's kind of making me also think of the super weapon from watchdogs legion online which is the uh gog magog uh tac tactical op but yeah this game is most likely gonna have an online and probably tons of uh really tough missions kind of like the gta heists and i'm sure we're probably going to be fighting some crazy stuff and we're probably going to have to cooperate with our friends our online co-op partners and uh i'm very excited to see the future of this uh, game and what it, what it has in store for us and there's the end of the teaser for mind's eye what are your guys's thoughts on mind's eye um leave your comments down below also, if you're a fan of open-world crime games like GTA and Watch Dogs and Saints Row, consider subscribing to the channel and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349, over and out. <laughs>